Hey, if you're looking to get started with stream avatars, this is the video for you. This tutorial will cover launching, channel connection, downloading avatars, overlay setup, the extension, and avatar spawn settings. During the video, if you run into a problem, look below the video for helpful links. You can also join the support discord and ask questions. In your Steam library, click the games, switch it to software, select stream avatars, and then click launch. Click the login details panel, then select the streaming service you are going to use for broadcasting. Click each OAuth button to allow stream avatars to connect with your channel. If you plan on having the bot separate from your stream account, make sure you log in as that account before clicking the bot OAuth button. Make sure you see green check marks before continuing. Click the Steam Workshop panel and then download an avatar. After clicking Connect, avatars will spawn for your viewers. If you are using YouTube, your viewers will have to chat to be recognized. Type exclamation mark commands in chat for a list of commands that are available for stream avatars. Next, you will have to set up your streaming software. We will use OBS as an example. First, set your streaming software preview to Scale to Window. In OBS, you will use a game capture to display stream avatars as an overlay. Set the capture mode to specific window and then select streamavatars.exe as the window. Click the Allow Transparency option. This step is not necessary if you are using XSplit. If you are struggling to get the game capture working, you might also have to click the SLI Crossfire option. This is usually necessary for laptops with both dedicated and integrated graphics cards, computers that have multiple graphics cards, or if you are using multiple capture devices. It is important that you do not stretch the OBS capture. If you keep the OBS capture to a one-to-one -one ratio with the application window, it will look much better. To do this, right-click the Game Capture, select Transform, and then select Reset Transform. If you need the Stream Avatar's capture to be a different size, you can resize the app window. In the General panel, at the bottom, you can lock it so you don't accidentally mess with the OBS capture positioning. The Stream Avatars extension is an amazing feature that will allow your viewers to easily customize their avatar without using commands. For Mixer or YouTube broadcasters, you can type exclamation mark extension in chat. This will display a link for viewers to click on. For Twitch broadcasters, you can directly add this to your stream page. To accomplish this, go to your Twitch channel, find the dashboard, click Extensions, search for Stream Avatars, and then install it. After installing, go back to the extension page, click on My Extensions, and then activate it as a panel or a video overlay component. Lastly, if it is available for your streaming service, you can select which of your viewers will receive an avatar. This is useful for broadcasters with more viewers. Thanks for watching. 
For more tutorials related to stream avatars, look below the video or go to streamavatars.com forward slash documentation.